transformation is one of the key themes in this exhibition and we see a lot of transformation of metals especially kind of a chemical alchemy of metallurgy going on here. Hi my name is Katie Guggenheim, I'm assistant curator at Hayward Gallery and I worked on this exhibition without Matthew Barney. To make the electric plates Matthew Barney set up a special electroplating workshop in his studio. The electroplates are appear in states one to five. State one is where you just see a little bit of copper accreted on the engraved lines. And then state five is where you see the work kind of covered and really obscured by the copper build up. The factors that they played with to build up the copper accretions differently at each stage are obviously the, the amount of time that they were left in the chemical bath. So state one was left for, for the least time, state five for the longest. All of the copper plates, when you see the engraver working with them in the film, you can see they're black. And the black coating is asphaltum, which is a, a resist, which stops the acid getting to the surface of the copper plate. But after some time, the acid eats away at that asphaltum surface. And so you get these circular marks on quite a few of the works, um, which look a little bit like the night sky or something. They, they look quite, they're kind of like a natural phenomena that's occurred to the plate or something. By changing the distance between the anode and the cathode, they created these kind of chemical burns, which you can see on some of the works where they start to look really black. And that's a really nice echo to the forests that we see in the, in the film, um, in the Sawtooth Mountains, which are affected by forest fires, which are started by lightning strikes and also contrast so much with the snow and the ice. Um, and I feel like the, the accretions of copper on the surface of the electroplates really remind me of ice crystals forming. Um, so you have this feeling of extremes of hot and cold temperature and transformation of states, you know, liquid to solid, snow, ice, metal, even into to gas through burning. It's almost kind of magical transformation of, of materials. It's a very traditional technique and very old technique but it's been pushed to the limits and really new and different things have been achieved with these works.